god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to another haunted adventure. Today we bring you Crawford Road. Been wanting to come out here for a little while now. I did a vlog here about, I don't know, maybe like six or seven months ago. We showed a little bit of, I guess there was a, a kid that was killed close by. I don't know if it was in a an accident. There's been tons of murders that happened on this road, a lot of urban legends. I'm not sure of the accuracy when it comes to some of those legends. This road dates back to hundreds and hundreds of years. Happens to be in Yorktown, very popular haunted area. There was wars fought here. We had the Civil War that was fought here, the Revolutionary War that was fought here. This is one of the first areas that was inhabited by Europeans that you know later on became Americans. So yeah, there's a lot of history here. Now, one of the legends says that if you go underneath this bridge, park your car and turn it off, that you will have an encounter with a ghost. Now, we spoke with a sheriff, and I did mention this on my vlog, that reports to this area quite often. And it, this is something that you will never find online. It's something that when we, in fact, I think I might have them in, in a vlog, right? When we went to Williamsburg. We went to Williamsburg, yeah. Right. Oh, and God, there it is. It, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, back to that story in a second, but I just want to show you. Let me turn the light off. Oh, wow. You want to go park underneath it? Hopefully there's no cars that pass through. There's so much graffiti down there. Look what just popped on what? on my freaking dashboard. What? My check engine light. Are you serious? I am so serious. This was not on. In your vlog earlier today, you even showed the temperature. My check I engine did, light that's right. not on. So earlier when I was vlogging, she's absolutely right. I don't remember that being on because I showed it wow. It doesn't. I don't like any it's lights colder on my too. dashboard. So it was 39 degrees and I was showing the temperature outside. And yeah, you can clearly see that there wasn't a check engine light on. Let's park underneath here, like the legend says. Turn the car off. Turn it off? Yeah, so oh. it says to turn it off. Jesus Lord. If you see any lights behind us or in front of us, that means the car is coming and we should probably move. Hopefully they're not hauling, but. My car better start. Oh, what if it doesn't start? Oh my gosh, imagine that. Because this is two way traffic and you're technically in the middle. You know what, just for poops and giggles, why don't you go off to the right a little bit, like closer to this wall? I'm nervous. I don't know why. I usually don't get nervous when it comes to investigations. I get more excited, but I, I'm pretty nervous. Is it a full moon too? Where? Right over Stop. there. I swear. Oh my God. So back to that story that the sheriff was telling me. If a car's coming this way and a car's coming that way, which like I said, is a two way mm -hmm. lane. Oh, they ha they have like head on collisions. and when A lot of head on collisions when right when they go under here. Come out here to check on them, like do the reports. The Both of the drivers would say, you know, I don't know what happened. Our cars just went towards each other. Almost like it's unexplainable. She's really scared that her car's not going to turn back on. I think we'll be okay. Listen, it's so quiet. They say that a ghost will appear. I'm going to put my... Turn my car off. No. Oh, oh my god. What? Why do my lights just shut off? Alright, her oh light just shut off. Oh we're good, god. we're good, we're good. So we had a car just kind of come out of nowhere a little bit ago. We didn't want to hold up traffic. Now we did a little research on this road up above us because like I was mentioning that you know, there was a woman running away and either she was hung from here or she killed herself. There's a, a story about her throwing her baby off that road up there. Now that road leads to a park. Last time we were here, there was like a psychic card. That oh, was up here to the left, I think. What is this? Oh my God, I don't know. What the heck? That's cool. It's like a tennis racket. It was right there, but it's not there anymore. Yeah, there was like a, there's a tarot card. Yeah. What? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just me. One of the stories I was mentioning on my vlog was there was a man by the name of Jimmy Johnson. I think this happened in the 1960s or 70s. I'm not exactly sure. 
but he met up with an individual that was supposed to buy his Mercedes for $45,000. Make the long story short, guy ended up liking his Mercedes. He wanted to show it off to his wife and he said he would buy it after he showed it to his wife. So they both, both gentlemen get in the car and Jimmy Johnson was found murdered here on Crawford Road and the car disappeared. Now this case ended up being unsolved until it premiered on America's Most Wanted. What was that? What? You didn't hear that hum? No. I didn't hear anything. I legit heard a hum right now. So yeah, the, the case was solved after that but there's been a couple other mysterious murders here on crawford road so i mean it's not only haunted but a lot of bad things have happened right in this little area right here and we just seen earlier and i'll show that to you in a little bit it's like a memorial site oh, uh, yeah, of yeah. a young a young kid that that died i don't it's know if it happened easily. maybe it happened in one of those head-on collisions no his if it's the one that I, I think it is his he was either shot or stabbed or something and his body was found here. Well, there was a, a teenager that was found here too. Yeah, that's who I think it is. N no, because I think he was like 20 years old. Like, 19. Okay, I guess that is a teenager. Anyways, there's a national park right here. Oh, there's a lot of graffiti up here too. What does this say? You're next? What? Whoa. I am squeezing my black turtling so tight. You know, I forgot to bring my... Well, actually, no, I do have this. I got the jet. Whoa. Look behind you. That's what it says. Does it? <gasps> it says you're gonna die on the road. I swear I just seen something dart out. Like, it, it went from, like, the right to the left. I really hope it was a deer. I could have been an animal. There's Tiffany's car right there with the hazards on. I told her it'd be fine without the hazards, but it is dark. I mean, Crawford Road is very dark. Maybe we won't even need a spare box. Is there any spares that want to communicate with us? The ghost of the woman, we're here to listen. It's so quiet out here. That says 666 on it. I just realized that. <gasps> Dude, did you hear that? What? I heard somebody talking. No. I swear. It looked like something. It looked like something to you, to you too, huh? Yeah, well, it's you like had, something moved over there. When you had your light facing like down. You know what's kind of scary is like that thing back there said that you're gonna die, but the fact that people have died here and this is a confirmed haunted location. And can we also address the fact that when you and Chris were gonna come out here, there was like. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. So she has a good point. Chris and I were told by two people, two different psychics, not to come to Crawford Road. I guess the night that we were gonna come out here was raining. Even on James's live stream, he had uh, done like a spirit box communication that said Omar accident. And it's almost like something bad was gonna happen to us that night. And it was the night that we did the antique store. And I, I do have that filmed and, and I mentioned some of that because we were asking some of the spirits during our, our communication. So yeah, that was, that was kind of scary. Tonight was definitely the night that we were supposed to come out here. I mean, I hope nothing bad happens. We're just here trying to document history, haunted history, that is. It's funny, I haven't seen any more cars mm -mm. going through. Look, a red spray paint bottle oh. top. I want to tag up these walls nope. real quick. What was that memorial? Um, it's right over there to the, to the right. To the right, right? More spray paint cans. Well, just one. I thought that was spray paint, but it wasn't. When we were here earlier, the light was on it, remember? Like, yeah. there was a, um... It's like it had a candle on. Like a lamp. I don't see it. So there was a light on earlier, and we did show that in the vlog. I'm not sure if it was a... Was it a candle? Yeah, it was like a little candle. The candle was lit. So this is really close. You can see where the hazards are. That's really close to the bridge. Where's the lamp? The lamp? The little light. Oh, it's right there. Behind it. It okay, it was a solar light yeah. right there. 
and have a candle here. You know what? Let's light up this candle. Rest in peace, Austin. There's yeah, a lighter. But yeah, but you don't want to have like a fire start out here. Man, it's wet out here. It's not wet. It's pretty dry. It's so wet that this lighter won't even... I mean, look at the cigarette yeah, down there. It's been rained on it at one point. Okay, this yeah. lighter does not work. So I'm not sure exactly what happened to Austin... What's the last name? Boxley? We're going to have to do some research. May you rest in peace. May the family be at ease and comforted. It's not that long ago. Just a couple years ago he passed away. Maybe he'll communicate with us through the spirit box. I mean, he was found right here on Crawford Road. Or died right here. I'm not sure exactly the cause of death yet. Oh my god, who the hell is that? Where? Who, who, who is that? There's somebody by your car. Hello? Did you lock your car? Yeah, I freaking locked my car. What is that? It's somebody over there. Maybe it's a jogger? Yo, if there's a freaking jogger out here, they're dumb. I don't see it anymore. You seen it too, right? Yeah. It was by my by my the driver's side, right? Like in the middle of the street? I think there is somebody by your car. There's a reflector off to your license plate. And I didn't see it for a second, and then it disappeared. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's something in the woods! There's something in the woods! Yo, something just went around the trees over there. There was definitely something by your car. Is that what that noise was? Maybe. Do you think it's like Shh! I don't know what it is. Hello? If there's an entity here with us, we're not here to cause any harm. You can show yourself. I already seen you. Yo, I know what I saw. Oh, I know what I heard. Did oh. you hear that? Like when you screamed, I heard that. I heard something. I didn't see anything, but because I because I seen it. I seen it in the woods. And I heard it. I did. Oh. It, it was almost like a flapping, and then I seen it kind of take off. I'm not sure if it went up, or I mean, I, it sounded like it like it kind of went up in the air. Just before that, though, there was something standing by her car here. And I thought it was maybe a deer at first but it, it was almost like jogging. So Tiffany says that it sounds like she heard running into the woods. It was when you like freaked out and you were like, what was that? No, I, it sounded like just a whole bunch of like I'm gonna go back and listen to that footage. Maybe I, I caught whatever was there. I know there was something that I caught on camera. I'm like scared to go back over there. I heard something on the bridge, like up top. I hope not. <gasps> oh my God. Yo, no lie, there's somebody up there and they just threw something at us. Been a lot of haunted places, but only a very few. I felt like there was somebody watching me. And this is one of those locations where I just feel eyes on me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what was that? Dude, I know you heard that. I'm like scared to turn around now. All right, you walk that way, I'll walk backwards. Whatever was following us, you need to stay here. You can show yourself though. When I'm looking the other way, you can show yourself. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Mm-hmm, you just whispered that you're scared. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm a little bit scared, just because I don't know what it is. All right, we're gonna break out the spirit box. Uh, last spirit box session that I did that was at the antique store had a lot of you guys yelling at me for talking I mean even ans like asking questions. I'm gonna ask a few questions But I'm gonna let most of the spirits do the talking. So that's my promise to you We're not gonna talk a whole lot. I'm gonna attempt not to now this spirit box I I've used a lot of spirit boxes before this is one that you can download and it's dead-on accurate It's it's very dangerous to use. Any spirit box, I think, can be dangerous to use. Somebody asked me one time, like, what's the difference between a spirit box and using, like, a Ouija board? Well, the thing with a spirit box is that spirits are manipulating maybe frequencies. They could be manipulating, like, a sound bank, but they're not manipulating you. When you're using a Ouija board, the spirits will manipulate your hands and move your hands. So nothing is touching us. With that said, if you do want to download this spirit box, it's a fraction of the cost compared to spirit boxes that I've spent hundreds of dollars on. There's even spirit boxes out there that are close to a thousand dollars. And this one comes really close to one of those type of spirit boxes. And you know, back to what you were saying about how, you know, there's so many people that were getting on you about talking too much and yada, yada, yada. Like when you're out here and you're like in 
the zone in the moment you can't control what's happening you can't control your emotions you don't even realize what's you, what you're doing or saying i mean like you're watching this video and you're probably like you know well, these scaredy cats like it's scary out here we're hearing all kinds of things and this place has some real history and you're sitting on your nice little comfy People warm die couch here. you know i've even told tiffany like hey i'm gonna go do a video on crawford road and go by myself nope I'm glad that I didn't do that because I, I would probably be freaking out by myself. Who knows? I wouldn't let you come out here by yourself. Some of the people that maybe died out here maybe were out here by themselves doing See? investigations. No. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows? But anyways, if you do want to download this app, I have a link down in the description. You could download it on Android. You could download it on iPhone, iPad. Pretty awesome. It's only $10. But please use it with respect. Use it carefully. Say a prayer before and after. In fact, I am going to say a prayer right now. Dear Father God in heaven, God, we just ask you to please comfort us, protect us, God, from any evil. Don't let anything that comes through the spirit box follow us home today. God, we do this to prove your existence. We do it to prove evil, maybe the evil that's been lingering around this road. God, we also pray that any car that goes underneath this bridge, that no, no harm is done to anybody and that they're protected, Lord. And if anybody does any future investigations here, God, that no evil happens. In Jesus' name we pray that you protect us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We're protected by the Lord. You can't hurt us, but we do want some answers. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? Did you hear mom? Want to talk to the woman? Was there really a woman that threw herself or threw her baby off the bridge? <laughs> Is Jimmy's ghost here? Really sorry about what happened. Were you murdered? What is that? What? What is that? There's something walking towards us. Oh my God, I saw it. There was something walking towards us. <gasps> you stay over there. I kind of feel bad. Like what if, what if it was something harmless and I just told it to go away? Are you evil? I've seen you walking towards me. Can you keep an eye on my back? I feel like there's something like behind me. We want you to go to the light. If you haven't passed on yet. I'm not here to disrespect you. But they turned around. Who was just walking towards me? Was it a person or a spirit? Was it a w woman? We're here to help you. Are we in any kind of danger? Did I say leave me alone? That's the first car we've seen out here in a while. I say I'm scared. I just heard that. I'm scared. We're not. Well. So it's very clear that we're talking to more than one spirit right now. Why is this road haunted? Why is Crawford Road haunted? I can't make out what it's saying now. I said don't. We 
want you to find peace and cross over to the light. Whatever evil is here needs to go back where it came from. I'm only going to leave you on for a few more seconds. What else do you have to say to me? What else? Leave? You heard that too. Yeah. All right. Let's leave. I guess we're going to leave. Hopefully the car starts though. We need to like close out this um say a prayer? Yeah, this session we need to like close it out. <gasps> what is that? It's not the even plugged in. No, it I mean, is it is plugged in. on. No, I have it off. Right. Well, that was weird. It's like something was trying to come in through the speaker right now. This has happened before where spirits were trying to come in through like a spirit box that it, it burned it out. Spirits will use whatever they can, not only to communicate, but to show their power. Well, it's doing it again. If there's a spirit here with us, make that static come through my speaker again. Did you hear it? Oh, oh my god that's spiking and my phone is on airplane mode so there is no way i mean unless that electromagnetic frequency is coming from the car which i doubt go ahead if there's a ghost here with us make my meter light up to red we know you're here i think there's too many spirits here for it to be passing on Ooh, baby are you okay oh gosh jeez i tripped there's a big ditch down there. All right, turn my light off for a second. Are you ready out here? There's a car coming too. You see him? I'm holding the, the rock. Yeah, it was like I was holding this so tight. Big shout out to my fiance for coming with me on these adventures. It was, it was really nice of her. I've been wanting to come out to Crawford Road for a while, and, and she's kind of been, like, reluctant to coming out here, and I got her to come out. Another car just went by. I have been reluctant to come out, letting you come out here by yourself. I seen a person walking this way, and it was coming towards us. And then when I said something, it stopped, and it disappeared. And I shouldn't have done that, honestly. Like, what if it was, I don't know. If somebody's out here walking this late at night by themselves, no. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm all for helping people, but I don't know if I want to help somebody that's crazy enough to walk down this street. Maybe whoever it was was kind of scared that we were here, too. You know, because you don't see people walking on Crawford Road at nighttime. No, you don't. You might see a couple investigators here and there because this is a confirmed haunted location, but no. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do want to see more of Crawford Road, maybe during the day, I do have a vlog. I'll, I'll try to find it and leave a link here. And it's when we, we came with your kids. And I believe it was cold that day too. Yeah, I remember my, um, my GPS kept going, you've reached your destination. That's right. And people were like, oh, you have to turn it off. You have to turn it off. I hit exit stop like I was done I forgot all route. about that yeah I was done with the route like anytime I get to wherever I'm going I always stop it or hit the exit whatever one is for whatever map I use and it kept saying you've reached your destination you've reached your destination over and over and over again and we don't have like any service out here no no maybe like one bar if anything so here's the thing and I actually when I showed that it showed that it, you didn't have I didn't any even service have it on. yeah so yeah, I forgot all about that. So it goes to show you Crawford Road is haunted even during the day. It doesn't matter. I always say this, you know, you might have some activity, a little bit more activity at nighttime when it comes to certain places, you know, during the between two and 4 a.m. hours. However, I've been to some places during the day, plenty of times where things do happen, just like when we were here on Crawford Road and our GPS was going crazy. So if you do want to see that video, I'm going to leave a little pop-up 
link here. Also, be sure to check out my app. It's down below in the description. It's amazing, but please be careful. Say a prayer before and after. There's been a lot of people that hit me up and they wanna get answers. They wanna maybe communicate with spirits that are in their house. Just be very, very careful. I have used this before and it, it can make things happen a little bit more. It could make things a little bit more active. So please be mindful, be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you again for watching. Smash that like button if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.